Special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tour possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Northrop T38 Talon. The Northrop T38 Talon is a two-seat twin jet supersonic jet trainer. It was the world's first supersonic trainer and it's also the most produced. The T38 remains in service as of 2020 in several air forces. The United States Air Force operates the most T38s. In addition to training US Air Force pilots, the T38 is used by NASA. The U.S. Naval Test Pilot School is the principal U.S. Navy operator, and pilots of other NATO nations fly the T-38 in joint training programs with U.S. Air Force pilots. As of 2019, the T-38 has been in service for over 50 years, and its original operator uh, being the United States Air Force. In September of 2018, the U.S. Air Force announced the replacement of the town by the Boeing T-7 Red Hawk with phase-out to begin in 2023. So yeah, the Northrop T-38, a Talon, a definitely... Uh, historic aircraft in the sense of how long it's served you don't see a lot of aircraft make it to 50 plus years of service so this is definitely a very extraordinary aircraft in that sense um even though this is a trainer uh kind of makes a little bit of sense of why it was been been able to be you know used for so long but uh still some really cool history behind it and all that fun stuff um it's a really cool looking aircraft and you know really interesting and uh will make a good addition to any of your bases where you want to have some kind of you know, type training type program. I uh, do you know that uh, the U.S. Navy has also used these for air combat training as well as uh, aggressor aircraft. So there's definitely some stuff you can do with them, a lot of playability with them, and you can definitely create some cool stuff uh, with this simple trainer jet. But before we go ahead and take, move into taking an overview of the vehicle, I just want to go ahead and give a special thanks to this tutorial's Patreon supporter. Uh, so big thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can put the small amount to the channel every month, and in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It helps me out personally in the channel, and uh, funding basically my work that I do. And you earn a really cool vehicle request of your choosing, depending on your tier every month. So if you are interested, definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link is down in the video description. So going ahead and moving into taking a look at this aircraft. Um, we have the traditional kind of camo scheme that, or color scheme I should say, that it really comes in. And this pretty much just a solid white with a few little black accents. But for the most part, it's just a completely white aircraft. Um, so starting off with, we have obviously the front nose of the aircraft. It's got a little bit of a black tipped nose. Um, so pretty straightforward there, pretty self-explanatory. We come back here to the cockpit where you would have obviously the pilot and then most likely the instructor who would be uh, seated behind them. We have the intakes here to both sides for the two jet engines, and we also have the um, wings here. Moving back here, it's got a really kind of difficult fuselage. I definitely struggled a little bit on trying to capture the fuselage just right. Um, I do think it's a little thick, but it's kind of what I was forced to kind of work with and just like the size of the aircraft and the fact that it actually has two uh, engines here on the back, which I didn't really think actually it did. I thought it was only one, but it has two back there, so kind of interesting. Uh, we have the horizontal stabilizers and also the vertical stabilizer. Uh, one thing also, I put a little red stripe in, in the tail here, so you can go ahead and create different squadrons or uh, for whatever base, maybe one of your main base colors, you can have that line uh, there for your bases and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's pretty much the aircraft as a whole. It's pretty straightforward and uh, really nice looking. And obviously we do have the landed version as well, so I will be covering that uh, for those of you that do want to build this aircraft in the landing configuration. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going ahead and start off with layer one for the aircraft. Now, a quick few things I want to cover is if you are new to my aircraft tutorials, with the structure of these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll be building the uh, entire right side and center line of the aircraft, and it'll be up to you guys to take what's on the uh, other side of the center line and copy it over. It's pretty straightforward. It basically just is the same thing on both sides. There's really no difference um, in either side for this aircraft. So whatever we do on the one side is going to be done on the other side. So it makes sense a little bit as we move through the layers. Uh, one thing I also want to cover is that if you do want to build the landed version, we will be modifying the in-flight version to make the landed version. So we're going to start off with making this in-flight and then adding in the landing gear a little bit later. So to take that into consideration, you're going to want to start layer one here, about two and a half, actually exactly two and a half blocks off the ground. As you can see here, we have these top slabs here, which are basically form up the lowest point of the bottom of the fuselage of the aircraft. And we can see we have two blocks 
salt full of blocks of space in between that and the ground level. Um, two and a half if you want to get technical with the space here um, between the slab and this block. Uh, but yeah, you should have it this high off the ground, and in doing so, you'll have this aircraft set up later so that we can go ahead and easily add the landing gear onto it and we'll make the landing version for it. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our smooth quartz uh, top slab and replace down a smooth quartz top slab. Coming off of it toward the front, we're going to place down an iron trap door and a dark oak wood trap door. We then want to go ahead and go to this quartz top slab. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Quartz top slabs back, followed by three iron trap doors. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the side of the third top slab. We're going to place down an iron trap door to the side, followed by a second one back. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six smooth quartz top slabs. And note that we will be using smooth quartz top slabs throughout the entire build. So if I do uh, say just quartz slabs, that means smooth quartz. Uh, we want to use smooth quartz because it creates a nicer blend uh, for the uh, structure of the build. And continuing on, we're going to take our iron trap doors, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 quartz top slabs. We're then going to place down an Arabic top slab and then a dark oak with trap door. Looking at it from above, we should have something that looks like this. Obviously, you can, see, you can see we have the center line of the aircraft here. And what we did over here on the right side is going to be copied over to the left side, like so. It's pretty straightforward. We then want to go ahead and go to the iron trap door here. So. With this right here, we're going to place down an iron trap door to the side, and then one, two, three, quartz top slabs, and then an iron trap door. After that, going back to this section here, we're going to go to the second quartz top slab, place down the iron trap door, followed by one and two back, so you have a row of three. We're going to place down another row of three out to the side, followed by a row of two, the second row of two, and then one that sticks out like that. So, basically, looking at it from above, we should have something that looks just like this up above for the aircraft. And uh, that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 1. You're going to take what we did with it on the right side here and flip it over to the left side. And this is what it should look like from up above once both layers are, or both sides are copied over. Anyways, that's it for layer 1. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 2. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down an Arabic slab on top of this dark oak wood trap door. And coming off the Arabic slab forward, we're going to place down an end rod like so. We're then going to go ahead and go back from the Arabic slab with an Arabic stair and then two black concrete blocks. After those two black concrete blocks, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Quartz full blocks back, a black concrete block, and then two narrow brick walls like that to go and finish it off. And that right there is going to be the center line of the aircraft. We're going to go and then place down a or a wither skeleton that's below the side of this narrow brick stair in the front, followed by two narrow brick walls back, and then a diorite wall directly after that. From that, we're going to go and take our quartz blocks, which I'll go ahead and grab some uh, smooth quartz blocks right here, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 quartz blocks back, followed by a glowstone block and then an orange stained glass block like that for your jet engines. After that, again going up to the intakes here. We're going to go ahead and go to the sides. We're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on top of this iron trapdoor. And we're going to open it up toward the outside like so. And then on the side here of this trapdoor, we're going to place down a narrow trapdoor and close it like that. So you have something that looks like this here for the side of the intake. After that's done, we're going to place down a black concrete block back from this iron, for this birchwood trapdoor there. And then a birchwood trapdoor coming off the black concrete block. And make sure that the trapdoors are kind of in the same direction, not something like this. It looks a little weird, so just make sure it looks something like that to kind of clean it up. Uh, when that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the right side of the fuselage. We're going to place down a dark oak wood button on the side of this smooth quartz block. And then we want to skip a space and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, forward. Over here on the other side, we're going to go ahead and place down the dark oak wood button on this first smooth quartz block. We're going to skip a space and then it's going to be the next five smooth quartz blocks back. So just make sure that they are translated correctly here on both sides. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our... Smooth quartz blocks, we're going to place down one and two. Smooth quartz blocks back. Quartz stair like this, and then one and two stairs coming off it. So you have a corner stair, and then two quartz regular stairs. And then we want to place down three diorite walls going back, followed by two pillared quartz blocks. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our diorite walls. We're going to place down one and two diorite walls back, and then one and two narrow brick walls. We're also going to take white carpet, and on top of all the iron trap doors, we're going to place down white carpet like that for the horizontal stabilizers. With uh, that out of the way, we're going to now focus our attention here to the wings. To start off with, we're going to go to the first smooth quartz block. We're going to place down a quartz slab coming off of it to the side like so. 
We're going to then go back one, two, three. Smooth quartz blocks back, and then a brick slab like that. After that, we're going to then place down one, two, three quartz slabs and a narrow brick slab. And again, going up to the side here, three quartz slabs and a brick slab like that. Once that's done, uh, we're going to place down an narrow one, two quartz slabs, brick slab, and then one, two quartz slabs and a brick slab like that. We then want to go ahead and place down one and two smooth quartz slabs to the side and then two brick slabs alongside with them. So we should get something that looks like this here for both wings. Obviously, you're going to do the same thing we did before in the previous layer. Take what we did on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and your aircraft should look something like this from up above for this layer. That right there is going to complete layer number two for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. Be going ahead and move it into layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a lever on top of this black concrete block, and we're going to go ahead and flip it backwards facing the rear of the vehicle. We then want to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor, followed by another brick slab, and then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven light gray stained glass blocks back. After that, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six quartz, smooth quartz full blocks, and then two, or sorry, three polished diorite blocks like that. After that, we're going to place down another row of four of quartz full blocks, and then a smooth stone slab full block like that on the end. After that's done, we're going to then place down a uh, wither skeleton skull on top of this diorite wall here at a slight angle like that and we're going to go and then take our like gray stained glass panes and place down two back. We're going to go and then place down a birchwood slab, or sorry, a quartz slab followed by a acacia wood slab like this and then a smooth quartz stair. We're going to go and then also grab ourselves a item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on the front here of this quartz stair to both sides. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a red concrete block and also a birchwood sign. We're going to place down a red concrete block in the item frame and a birchwood sign over the face of the stair, like so, to both sides. Or what will be on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down two diorite walls back, followed by one, two, three, four, and five smooth quartz blocks, quartz stair, quartz corner stair, and then one, two, and three smooth quartz slabs back. After that, uh, we're going to place down one, two, three, quartz stairs, quartz slab, and an Arabic slab, just like that. Once that's done, uh, we're going to then place down a iron trap door here in the front, followed by one, two, three, quartz slabs back, and then one, two, skeleton skulls, and then skeleton skull at a slight angle like so. We then want to go ahead and go back to this third diorite wall here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle like that followed by one and two quartz slabs on top of the poured, uh, quartz blocks, one and two skeleton skulls back, and then a wither skeleton skull here on the end. After that's all complete, you're going to take what we did on the right side, flip it over the left side, and you'll have basically all we have here for layer number three for the build. As you can see, you're starting to get a lot of the aircraft built up, and it's getting pretty uh, close to having the fuselage done. It's a pretty quick build for the aircraft. Uh, but anyways, that's it for layer three. Let's move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place the Arabic slab on top of this second, like, race thing was block, and then going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six, like, race thing was full blocks back. After uh, that's done, we're going to then place down one and two polished, uh, polished diorite full blocks, followed by a polished diorite stair and a polished diorite slab. We're then going to place down two iron trap doors, Skip a space, place down an iron trap door, polished diorite slab, polished diorite block, two smooth quartz blocks, and then two smooth stone slabs stacked on top of each other like so. We also want to go to the side of the quartz block here and place down a stone button to both ends of it. After that, uh, we're going to go to the sides here of this two light racing glass blocks. We're going to place down two um, of the light racing glass panes, a diorite wall, and then one, two, three light racing glass panes back polished diorite stair, slab, and then a skeleton skull and a skeleton skull there at an angle like so. And you're going to basically take the same thing, flip it over the other side, and you'll pretty much be good to go for that. The right there is going to complete layer four. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which are going to consist of layers five, six, and seven. We're going to put basically the vertical stabilizer on the aircraft and basically the top of the canopy and pretty much be able to call it good. So with that, let's go and move into our last final layers. I guess go ahead and move into our next layer. We'll be moving into layer numbers five through seven. 
These layers here are going to cover the last parts of the aircraft in flight and pretty much wrap it up. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and go to the canopy itself. We're going to place down a dark oak with trapdoor on top of the second light gray stainless block, followed by a quartz slab and then a narrow brick slab back from it, followed by two dark oak with trapdoors right after it. After that's done, on top of this polished diorite block, we're going to place down a, a withered skeleton skull. We then want to go ahead and go back to the tail here. We're going to place down a polished direct stair on top of the tail here, followed by one and two smooth quartz blocks directly behind it. On both sides of this second smooth quartz block, we're going to place down a stone button to both sides, and then on the back here, we're just going to place down the andesite wall. Going ahead and going up to our next layer or layer up, uh, you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want for the tail here. I'm just going to go ahead and use red, um, since that's kind of like my color that I like. So I'm going to place down two red concrete blocks and a brick wall here on the end. Uh, you can use whatever color you like best in this situation. Um, anyways, once that's done, we're going to then place down a white banner, which will be going off the red concrete block here toward the front. Then on top of this front uh, red concrete block, we're going to place down a smooth quartz stair, followed by a smooth quartz block behind it, a stone button on both sides of this smooth quartz block, and we also want to place down stone buttons on whatever color block you have concrete you have right here. And then uh, we also want to place down a skeleton skull coming off the back here of this quartz full block. So you get something that looks like this for you for the tail. Also, uh, one thing you can do is you can go and look in the tutorial linked in the description. I'll show you guys uh, letters and numbered banners. And you can go and put a lettered banner or something like that uh, on both sides of this quartz block right here for a little bit of the tail markings and all that. Um, again, I won't be showing you guys exactly how to make it. I just used L for example, but you guys can use uh, basically whatever letter you guys want and you can look at those banners. Again, link is going to be down in the description for the lettered and numbered banners. Anyways, that right there is going to complete my in-flight version for the T-38A Talon. We're going to go ahead and now move into the landed version. So if you do want to build this landed, I will be showing you guys how to modify this design to uh, actually have it landed on your air bases or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the landed version. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into building the landing gear. So, just to double check, we want to make sure that we have two and a half blocks of space of clearance between the bottom of the aircraft here and the ground. If you have the correct number, then you guys are good to go, you did it right. If not, your aircraft's not going to sit right. So, uh, make sure that the number is correct and we are good to go. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go to this fourth quartz top slab back. Then we're going to swap this block out for a upside down quartz stair like so. Going down from the quartz stair, we're going to place down a end rod, followed by a block of coal on the bottom of the end rod. Now we want to go and then go to both sides of this block of coal, and we're going to place down an iron frame with a white stained glass pane in it. And over here to the right side, to the side over here, we're going to place down a lever, and then a skeleton skull that's going to be coming off of this uh, end rod like that. Also here to the other side, we are going to be placing down a stone button on the side of this block of, con or block of coal. Now, if you uh, are on a different version of Minecraft other than Java, I think some of you guys are not allowed to place down banners and, um, or sorry, item frames and uh, levers and buttons and stuff like that in the same block space. So if that's the case, um, go ahead and choose the lever, obviously, over here on the right side, and over here on the left side, just leave it without the stone button there. Um, but, uh, yeah, kind of unfortunate, uh, but that's how we have it here on Java, so we're able to do that. Anyways, that's it for the front landing gear. Moving on to the rear ones. So the rear ones here, we're going to go ahead and go to this second, or kind of like this middle space here. So you have basically, or you have the one uh, quartz top side and you have this section of two. We're going to go ahead and go to this section of two, and we want to go ahead and follow this quartz, quartz top side here back to this middle block here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz, uh, or sorry, a, a uh, inside wall, or a diorite wall, sorry, that drops down from it. And then coming off the diorite wall, we're going to place down an end rod going downwards like so, and then a block of coal here on the bottom. We want to go ahead and then uh, do a lever here to the left side of this block, and then a skeleton skull, like so. Coming off the end rod, we're going to go and place down an item frame here on both sides, white stained glass in the item frames, and also a stone button on the side of the block of concrete, or the block of coal here to the right side like that. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and place down a quartz stair, come off this end rod going forward, and then a quartz upside down stair, come off this a uh, diorite wall just like that and then coming off the side of the diorite wall we're going to grab ourselves a white banner and we're going to place down a white banner like that coming off the diorite wall like so and you're going to take the same design here for the landing gear and flip it over to the other wing and you'll have both your landing gear complete and it should look something just like this completed and anyways that right there guys is going to complete my tutorial for the both the in-flight and landed version of the T-38A Talon trainer jet 
Um, if you guys do not be build using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This be anything from a sign of the build, link to my channel, or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use different projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, other than that, uh, again, a big thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible, and feel free to check my Patreon page, link is down in the video description as always. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching, as always, don't feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, this has been great to before, and I'll see you guys next time.